Hey, welcome to the next section. So let's recap what we just saw in the last section. We basically saw how to make databases and then how to create tables which are currently empty, which are represented by this box here. Let's say this is a cat's table. It's empty, it has no data in it. But in this section, I'm gonna show you the tools to insert data into the cat's table. Thank you, Blue, that was perfect. So we'll see how to do that. It's a insert command. So we'll see that. Uh, and get lots of practice, lots of exercises, inserting data into tables. And then the other thing we're going to see in this section, it's not the primary focus, but it's important, um, is selecting data back out. And I won't remove Blue from the box just yet. She's very paranoid. She loves this box. But the idea is, rather than deleting things, that's for another time, another section, how can we retrieve it out? How can we read it or search? So let's say insert, I don't know, 10 cats into a box and they all have different birthdays and breeds and names. I want to be able to run code like uh, select or retrieve the last five cats added or retrieve the names of the Russian blue cats or retrieve the names of the, uh, the last, I don't know, the oldest cat in your database, something like that. <laughs> wow, she's having a lot of fun in there. So that will be the goal in this section is to show you those two commands, inserting data and then retrieving it back out. I'm just gonna leave her in there. I can't, can't stand to take her out. All right, well, I'll end it there. Blue's enjoying her box. I'm enjoying whatever this is.